Hey guys, Double Wide Six, and I have a real common repair for you. I have a tractor that has a flat tire, so today we're going to show you how to pump that thing up and get it back on the bead. Here you go. Uh, I got this tractor tire from a guy my wife works with. I gave him a tractor, and the uh, wheel, as you can see, has popped off the rim here. The bead came undone, and this is pretty common. And I don't know if uh, Steve doesn't have an air compressor or what, but he wasn't able to fix this. So um, I'm going to show you a couple different ways to go about fixing this. First thing I'm going to do is uh, actually try and use some grease. So I have some grease here. Happens to be uh, high temperature grease. And I'm just working that in here. And what the grease does is it helps the tire slip up on the rim. So I'll put some of that on there and we'll try and add a little air with the air compressor. I got my air compressor set at about 100 PSI. So we'll see what we get. Not sealing. Okay, not enough air pressure next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the valve stem. So we'll take out the valve stem here. And uh, I actually learned this trick from Zippo Vargas channel. Um, he removed the valve stem and what that does is that allows you to add more air all at once. Now I'm not going to guarantee that this will work, but we're going to try it out and see if this will seal it up. So I'll put it up this way so you guys can see and we'll see if that will give enough air that it will seat. Can't get it to seat. I'm going to try it down and see if that works. This table is pretty flat. didn't see. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the next thing we can try. I'm just going to pause this a sec. So the next method, this one's pretty simple. As you can see, we're not seated yet. We're seated on one side, but if you have uh, a tire that's not seated on either side of the rim, you're, you're pretty much going to have to go to a, a method like this. So I'm, I'm wrapping the rope around the tire and what we're going to do is just tie a knot. So we'll, we'll kind of snug it up a little bit. It's not pulled super tight. And we'll put a knot there. And we just slipped off the tube. So let me get that back on there. Okay, so that's on there. And now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take, I'm just using a small pipe and I'm going to try and slip this under the rope here and I got the rope pretty tight. Now this could be done using a ratchet strap but uh, you know you might not have a ratchet strap so that's why a, a thick rope is a good way to do this. Alright and the hardest part is getting this first twist on here. You can see I need a little bit of leverage and there we go, we're around once. And then what you can do is you can continue to spin this. Okay, and if you could see the tire here, it's pulling in the rubber and it's expanding the sides and it's pulling it into the bead. And, and looky here, we're, we're right up against the rim. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tie this off since I have it snugged up and I'm trying to show you on a video. I'll tie that off just like that. And what we can do is try and put a burst of air in there and seat that bead. So I still have the valve stem out. So what I want to do is uh, try and get the bead to seat. And then I'll put my finger over here and uh, we'll put in that Schrader valve. It did seat. Here's the valve. I'm going to make sure I get it in there the right way. 
and I have a valve stem removal tool. Put that in there like that. And it's still it's still seated. There's good pressure in there. Just make sure you don't cross thread it. Check the other side. You can see it's seated nicely. And what I want to do is just, just top it off with some air before I take the rope off because you want to make sure there's good pressure. All right, we got that. And we'll loosen this guy up. And that's that. Looks good. So the video doesn't end here. Right here is where you can get entered into the contest. Another contest, this contest is for everybody. Everybody out there in YouTube land. So all you have to do to enter the contest is give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment. The more comments you leave, the more times you'll be entered in the contest. We're gonna have the contest for about a week. This is a 12 volt digital air compressor that you'd plug into your vehicle. I plugged this guy in my truck. You can see right now it's at zero. If I hit plus plus I can set it to whatever pound I want. So 35 PSI is what I need for my truck. There you go, got up to 35, ran there for about four or five seconds, and then it shut itself down. And it has a uh, hose here that you can hook onto your tire to inflate your vehicle tires, or you could use this air compressor to do a small project like a little tire like this or your wheelbarrow. Um, it's better than pumping by hand. and. This contest is being sponsored by Audu. Okay, I'll put a link in the description so you can take a look at the product. And in a week, we'll pick a winner and we'll mail one of these out to uh, whoever wins it. As always, guys, thanks for watching and good luck in the contest. Let me know down in the comments that you want to win this thing. Okay, guys, take care.